guess where we're headed? Into the kitchen. We're gonna learn some kitchen vocabulary. Are you ready? Come on, I'll show you, it'll be fun. I hope you enjoy. Come on, take a look. Hey, welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense in the kitchen. Yeah, I just came out of the kitchen. Thought I'd find some things that we could go over for vocabulary. Let's start with this little beauty right here. This is a tongs. We use a tongs to grab things. A tongs. Yeah, the tongs. I love to say the word tong, tong, tong. <gasps> All right, put the tongs down. Here we go. What do you call this? We call it a rolling pin. You roll out the dough on a rolling pin. See, it rolls out the dough. A rolling pin. Not sure if you want a rolling pin? How about the spatula? We use the spatula to flip burgers, to flip vegetables. The spatula. Yeah, this one has slots in it. It's a slotted spatula. Sometimes we also call this a spatula. You can scoop and scrape things out of a bowl with this spatula. Or in the United States, we call it the scraper. Hey, can you hand me the scraper? Or the spatula, got it? Spatula and a spatula, huh, okay. Now, what about this? What do you call this? What do you call this? This is a ladle. We use the ladle to scoop the soup. Scoop the soup with a ladle. Funny spelling ladle. L-A-D-L-E, a ladle. Then we have the serving spoon, the slotted spoon. We had a slotted spatula, now we have a slotted spoon. Yeah, for when you just want to get the sauce to go through, we have the slotted spoon. It lets everything drain out the bottom. How about this? What is this? This is a basting brush, a basting brush. You put it in, you put the marinade or whatever you want to baste, put on your meat or like if you're making a turkey and you brush it with this. This is a basting brush. How about this? I bet you know this one. The pizza cutter, yeah. Hey, can you hand me the pizza cutter? This one makes total sense. It just cuts pizza. A pizza cutter. How about the vegetable peeler? Yeah, the vegetable peeler has this blade right here. And you take the vegetable and you peel the peel. You take the skin off of a vegetable, like potatoes, carrots, cucumbers. You peel the vegetables. You take the rind or the skin off with the vegetable peeler. Then we have the meat thermometer. A meat thermometer, yeah, you stick it in to see, into say a roast or a chicken to see if your temperature of the meat is correct. But it's a meat thermometer. Hmm, what else do we have? How about the can opener. Do you use one of these? You put this on the can and you turn it to open the lid. Now there's a lot of pull tabs, but sometimes you need the can opener. How about this? Do you have one of these in your kitchen? The cooking shears or the cooking scissors. Yeah, this one has a bottle opener in it. You can open a bottle with the cooking shears. We don't use this for cutting cloth. Nope, you cutting herbs, cutting the twine to tie the meat. This is the cooking shears or the cooking scissors. What about this? This is a handheld mixer. A mixer, yeah. So you take the mixer, 
I still got the mixer. And you put these on. These are called the mixers. No, no. These are called the beaters. Yeah, the beaters. At least in the United States, we call them the beaters. You put the, in a, turn them on, and you mix the things with the beaters. And if you want to have, take the beaters out, to lick the beaters after you make the cookie dough. I know, probably not supposed to do that, but many people still let their kids lick the beaters when it's full of cookie dough or delicious frosting or things like that. Beaters go into the handheld mixer, okay? You take this and you mix it. Let me put that one in there. Vegetable peeler, meat thermometer, you say it, meat thermometer, can opener, cooking shears or cooking scissors or kitchen scissors, pizza cutter, remember this one? Rolling pin, well done. We started with this one. One of my favorite words, a tongs. I don't know why they're called a tong. Slotted spoon. Slotted spatula. Spatula. This one's also called a spatula or a scraper, either one. Can you hand me the spatula? Can you hand me the scraper? The basting brush. And the ladle, a soup ladle. <sighs> I love soup. The ladle. Here's another combination spoon and ladle. I don't know what this is called, but if you have a name for it, leave it in the comments. Hope this helped. These are just some of the vocabulary words you find in the kitchen. Let me know if you'd like to do more or learn more. Why? I don't know. Oh, I know because I love having fun with English. Have a great day, friends. Peace.